Welcome to the Technical Studies. This is the third part of the series, Basic Piping Training. In this video, we will learn how to do pipe marking and cutting. If you want to learn in details, check in the description, you will find the links for detailed videos. Let us start. How to read drawings and identify cut lengths. Begin with the isometric drawing and bill of materials, BOM. From each spool drawing, identify line number and size. Material specification. Cut length between fittings. Deduct allowances for bevels, weld gaps, and fittings like elbow, T, flange, from the overall dimension. Always double check the cut length equals center to center distance minus fitting allowances. Mark the heat number and line number on the pipe after cutting for traceability. Marking tools and measuring methods. Steel rule and tape measure. Steel rule. Provides precise readings for short dimensions up to 300 mm or 12 inches. It's mainly used for layout marking, checking edge distances, and verifying small dimensions on flanges or fittings. Tape measure, used for longer measurements up to 30 meters or 100 feet. It's flexible, easy to carry, and ideal for pipe lengths, spool fabrication, and layout marking on shop floors or at site. Wrap around. Wrap around is a flexible marking tool used to draw straight or angled lines around the circumference of a pipe. It helps ensure square cuts, proper mitre layouts, and accurate joint alignment during fabrication. Center head and spirit level. Center head is used with a combination square to find or mark the exact center of a round pipe or bar. It helps in aligning hole positions and layout lines accurately before cutting or drilling. Spirit level is used to check and maintain the level or plumb position of pipes, structures, and supports during fit up and installation. Ensures straight alignment and proper slope in piping runs. Scriber or chalk. Scriber or chalk is used to mark cutting lines, center lines, or reference points on metal surfaces during fabrication. A scriber makes fine permanent marks, while chalk is used for quick, temporary markings that can be easily cleaned. Square and protractor. Square and protractor are used to check and mark right angles, bevels, and alignment on pipes and plates. The protractor helps measure or set precise angles for cutting, fit up, and layout work. For small pipes, use square and rule directly. For large pipes, use wrap around or string method to transfer mark around the circumference. Check the horizontal level before marking a cut line. Correct way to mark 90 degrees, 45 degrees, and rolling cuts. 90 degrees cut. Line should be perfectly square to pipe axis, use wrap around and level. 45 degrees cut. Use template or calculate offset and mark accordingly. This is commonly used for elbow fit ups. Rolling cut. Used for offset pipes that are not in the same plane. Determine set, run, and travel using isometric. Mark tangents at start and end of the cut. Always double check the rotation angle before cutting to avoid orientation error. How to use cutting machines, grinders, and gas cutting safely. Cutting machines. Cold cutting or bandsaw. Best for SS and CS pipes when heat must be avoided. Provides clean, square edges ready for beveling. Grinders and abrasive cutters. Used for small diameter pipes and repairs. Always check disc condition and RPM rating. Gas cutting. 
oxyacetylene or LPG. Used for carbon steel only. Maintain correct torch angle, rugly, 15 to 20 degrees. Mark the cut line clearly and follow smoothly to prevent bevel deviation. Safety precautions. Wear PPE, gloves, goggles, face shield, apron. Keep fire extinguisher and water nearby. Never cut a pipe containing residual gas or oil. Ensure proper support for the pipe during cutting. Common mistakes in cutting and how to avoid them. Pipe face not square. Use wrap around. Wrong cut length. Check drawing twice and record in cutting list. Bevel damage during cut. Cut 5 to 10 mm extra and re-bevel before fit up. Not identifying cut piece. Write heat number and line number immediately after cut. In the next lesson, we will learn pipe beveling and fit up preparation.